I'm James Bridges with Survival Edge Lines. Uh, the model that you're looking at here is the Nightcore P20, uh, part of their Precise series. What we're going to be doing in this video is sharing with you uh, what we call our heat test. Now, as you've probably noticed on many of the uh, LED flashlights, you'll notice a marking near the head of the flashlight. Generally, it says hot. Uh, that's because the very nature of the LED lamps, it is going to generate heat. Uh, now what we do in this particular test, and I'm going to get going here in just a minute, is what we do is we run the light on its maximum level of output for a period of at least three minutes to show you what temperature uh, it will get up to during that time. Now again, most manufacturers will not recommend you running it on its maximum level of output for too long an extended period of time, but we feel three minutes is a reasonable period uh, that you can expect to operate the light and should understand how hot the light will get. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take a baseline temperature reading. In this case, you see 73.5 degrees. Now I'm going to turn the light on its maximum level of output. In this case, that's 800 lumens. And I'm going to press start on the stopwatch because likely I will cut this down so you don't have to sit for the entire three minutes. But what we are going to do is take another temperature reading at the three minute mark so you can understand how hot the light will get. Because the reality is, it doesn't just get hot near the head of the flashlight, the heat does radiate through the body of the flashlight. So if you are carrying in your hand, uh, you're, you're in the outdoors, you're in a situation where you are running it for an extended period of time, do want to understand that, this, that the LED flashlight is going to uh, increase in temperature uh, all the way through the body. In fact, uh, and I will share a quick note, I'll let it run here, but uh, I will share a quick note. I was letting a different model uh, by a, one of um, uh, a young child play with the light, and what happened was he came back and he's like, oh, Uncle Jamie, Uncle Jamie, it's hot, it's so hot, and, I, and he handed me the light uh, because he had a towel, and it was blazing hot. Uh, it was a different manufacturer's uh, light, I won't go into it, uh, but the reality is it didn't have any temperature regulator on it, like some of the Nightcore models do, uh, to reduce the heat output. But even with the temperature regulars, these lights, uh, when it does try and reduce the level of output to uh, reduce the temperature, it still gets very uh, warm. Um, and generally it's designed to protect the internal circuitry, uh, not the outside uh, temperature of the light. So I'm going to let the uh, test continue to run here. I will check back with you uh, when we hit uh, near the three minute mark. And we'll take an additional temperature reading. Now you can see here we're coming up just on three minutes. So I'm going to take another temperature reading now. And as you can see there, 73.5 degrees. So we didn't have much of a movement uh, at all uh, in the temperature of the flashlight. I can touch it to my hand just to, as kind of verification that the temperature reading uh, is on. Um, again, if it was uh, well uh, in excess, I wouldn't be able to uh, touch the light uh, to that degree. So in this case, hey, the Nikkor P20, uh, having a very uh, stable uh, reading uh, on its temperature reading as it goes up uh, from you know, from initially starting all the way up to uh, three minutes uh, running on its maximum level of output. Uh, and, and in the case of the P20, the maximum level of output is 800 lumens. I'm sitting here with it cranked uh, on max, which is why I see a little bit of uh, problem with the uh, lighting of the video. It's trying to uh, compensate for that. Again, well past uh, three minutes now. And just because uh, we are continuing to run, I will take one more uh, reading. There we are, right at 76.6 degrees. So we got a little bit extra climb uh, here in the last minute. It is an item uh, of consideration. Again, these lights are high uh, performance uh, LED flashlights uh, with the uh, Cree bulbs and pretty much, you know, which are in the majority of the lights that we evaluate. Uh, those a particular Cree bulbs or lamps as they're uh, referred to, um, though they are gonna generate heat uh, just uh, in order to get the uh, performance out of light. This, for those who are curious, the particular battery that is in this light, it's an 18650 a lithium ion battery. It's pretty much what uh, Joe and I run in any of the flashlights that we test, as opposed to the CR123s, uh, mainly because the 18650s are used uh, when they're doing uh, their laboratory testing. They're almost always one of the most common uh, size uh, batteries used in, in the elements of testing. So we do like to use those just so we can give you the most uh, accurate information. And as you can see here, we're coming up on five minutes. So I'm going to do one uh, additional test here for you so I can share that. And you can see here now we're at 77.9 degrees. So with the Nikkor P20, uh, you will see, again, like many of the flashlights, you'll see an increase uh, in temperature as uh, you continue to use the flashlight. 
With that temperature though, very safe uh, to touch to the hand. Gives you plenty of usability whether you're uh, just enjoying the outdoors or using it for uh, out there uh, with your uh, toolbox and whatnot. So continue to have fun, research, and find out more to see if the Nightcore P20 is the right light for your next adventure.